to the high school level and both Andover schools were on the road tonight. We begin with the eighth ranked Andover High playing at Mays High. Josh Kim out on the wing before cutting to the rim and finishing for the score. Mays High playing tough though. Braden Mayavella, he's able to cut inside and get the bucket. Eagles Alec Grill. We've heard Grill a few times when it comes to Mays High. He's able to get the steal here and the junior takes it the other way for the layup. One more time from Andover High, it's going to be Kim again. This time getting free in the corner when he receives the pass from his teammates. You're going to see he's be able to hit the nice little mid-range jumper, and he's going to splash that one home. Trojans, they get the seven-point road win. As for the girls game, Andover High entered as the top-ranked team in 5A, but we start with Mays' Charlotte Curb. She's taking that one inside for the layup. Andover's Brody Christensen, heck of a player, gets open in the corner here, able to can the triple for the Trojans. More outside shooting from the Trojans. Got quite a bit of talent on this team. The reason why they're the number one team in 5A, Bella Budara and the Andover, they go on to win this one by 40. The Central Jaguars, they were playing the campus Colts this evening. Shout out, Jeff. Yeah. Central was dominant from the start, though. Carlin Wilson with the three from the corner. Jaguars, they blow out the Colts in the girls' game 66-13. to as for the boys game, we begin with some good defense from the Colts forward Andrell Burton Jr. This ends with a score down low from the Drexel signee. Chaos here though. Burton's going to get stripped by Central. Then you're going to see stays with it. He then steals it back from the Jags before just throwing it deep to Kason Thomas. And speaking of bunnies, you don't see too many 18 year olds that can do that. He soars in for the slam. Central would play tough though. Here they'll be able to find Maddox Archibald for the three in the corner. Final play before half. Jags steal it, but again, eventually it ends up in the hands of Landon Brown. He throws it up on the floater right at the buzzer for the Colts campus. They get the 10 point home win. Red hot, Zach. No, they're playing really well right now. Red hot Colts. Yeah. Zach, thank you. We'll be right back. <laughs>